Hello and welcome to Let's Get Ready to Reservoir Engineer. Uh, today we're going to look at the 3D Grid QC tool. The 3D Grid QC is an easy way to investigate the quality of your 3D model. It provides a set of new geometric modeling properties which are designed to test the grid for any structural inconsistencies. This can quickly point you to any problems that you might have with the model, which could potentially cause uh, a performance problem in simulation or other processes. So in, what you can do is use these uh, properties, um, so you could exclude cells, for example, which have a negative thickness, which can impact simulation performance. The tool also creates an Excel report based on your already modeled properties, providing some uh, statistics. Uh, finally, the user has the option to create a set of properties from the 3D Grid tool itself or via the geometric modeling process, which allows you to run it as part of a workflow. Here's an overview of the interface of the tool. In the top here, we can specify a 3D Grid. On the left hand side, you see a list of structural tests that you can run on your grid, and if you click one, you can see a description of it below and how it works. On the right hand side you get your properties from this grid. If you toggle on any of these options they can be written out to an Excel spreadsheet to give you a summary report of the different properties. So here's a look at the results. Once you run your structural test you can visualize the properties in the Petrel 3D window and use these flags to maybe um, review your model or exclude certain cells in uh, a later process. We can see here it can be run as part of geometrical modeling in a workflow by choosing Blueback 3D Grid QC, etc. etc. And finally, here I can show the quick um, copy and paste from the Excel spreadsheet, which contains uh, some summary information about prostate permeability properties. While we're on the subject, we can also take a little look at how GDI can help with um, the QC of properties in your model. So let's take a look at how this all ties together in Petrel. The first thing I can do is open the Blueback Toolbox by clicking the Home icon. And then from here I can select 3D and choose Reservoir Engineering 3D Grid QC. I can then choose the model which I want to use, in this case the GeoGrid, and choose any of these tests I want to run. So let's say I want to run this corners with zero thickness, which counts the number of pillar corners with zero thickness and creates a property based on that. I can toggle these on and press uh, apply and it will create some properties in my input tree. We can see an example here. If you toggle any properties on the right hand side, these are written out to your Excel spreadsheet, which you can use to further QC uh, the model. So that takes a little bit of time to run, so I'm just going to skip that and show you one I made earlier. So if I come here to my Petrel input tree, or rather model tree, I can see my properties and then my lateral concavity. So here it creates a true or false property based on the structural test, and you can see here there are um, cells which are true, which have a high lateral concavity. And in addition, I can show my corners with zero thickness. So how many corners have a zero thickness? And you can see here it highlights some of the potentially problematic cells that I might want to exclude or do something about in a later process. Just to show a little bit more, here inside my workflow for building this um, model, I can, let's say, copy and paste my geometrical modeling, and I can add in here and tell it to create my corners with zero thickness property by using the blueback grid QC process as part of the workflow and I can uh, make that a little bit easier when I'm tying these uh, steps together. Let's take a quick look now at the spreadsheet we get when we choose some properties here from the right hand side. So here you see I chose porosity and permeability and I get a simple min, max, mean for each of the zones for both permeability and porosity. And I can also add in some extra level of detail by selecting segments or further down into zones, etc. So this is designed to give you a quick overview to um, 
make sure your property modeling has been uh, accurate. Next, I'm going to show a little bit about GDI and how it can be used to help QC uh, property models. So what I'm going to do for that is say insert new blueback GDI investigation and then I'm going to add first folder of wells. Let's choose my A wells and then I'm going to add in porosity and permeability like so. Then in addition I'm going to add my model like so and choose for also porosity and permeability. Uh, here I can choose actually if I want to just use the propagated data, so the full model or just the upscaled data. So if I wanted to make a QC of my upscaling I could do that, but in this case I'll show the entire data. Let's press OK. First thing that can be nice to do with the GDI is to open the matrix window and then toggle on the investigation. And here I get a quick cross plot and histogram of each of the dimensions. I can add a legend here. Um, so I can see how each of the data items contribute to the trend. I can also for the wells right click and say uh, color by children. So I can see which wells are contributing to the um, part of the model and see if I have any outliers or any wells that could be um, causing my modeling to go a little bit off. Let's just change this back to normal. Um, I can also filter the data I have displayed here so I could toggle off certain wells or also color by one of the properties if I want to look at that. The next thing to show is the histogram window which can provide an interesting overview. So here I have my wells and my models so a histogram for porosity for each of those objects. For the model I can change it to be a weighted percentage which is a more accurate way of visualizing um, a model histogram. And here I can also toggle them into lines and toggle them into separate which allows me to see the overlap between the histograms of the two different sets of data. So folder 1 contains all my wells and the geogrid of course contains the property and this allowed me to compare how the wells are contributing to the trend of the porosity in the model. In addition, the histogram window provides um, some statistics, so I can see this by toggling this button here, and I get for each of my objects, the folder of wells and the geogrid, some um, statistics, standard deviations, and some cumulative distribution functions. I can change which cumulative distribution functions are displayed by toggling them here. I can add, for example, P45 and get that displayed down here. The final thing you can do with the histogram is to export to a spreadsheet and this dumps all the information displayed here to a nice really comprehensive spreadsheet. I can show you that down here. So the histogram export, first of all, provides uh, a table containing uh, the raw data that's used to draw the histogram. So here we have all the histogram bins and the cumulative distribution functions for each of the folder and the geogrid. Then I get a comprehensive look into the folder of wells itself, so I get a porosity and permeability for my three wells in that folder if I want to double check any of the individual wells. And finally I get uh, a report on my model which contains the permeability and the IJK range etc. So hopefully I've illustrated by using these two tools you can get a really good handle on how to QC um, both the structure and the properties of your model. As always, please um, give it a go and let us know how you get on. Thanks. Bye.